Hey you guys, welcome to my channel. I love doing product review videos, whether it's lashes, hair, wigs, whatever. Today specifically is gonna be a Halo hair extension review video. So I'm sure you guys have heard of the Halo hair extension. It comes with like this fishing wire that goes around your, the crown of your head, kind of sits around the crown of your head. And then it's just like a quick, easy way to add volume or length with hair extensions in one piece. I was really curious to see how these extensions would work on fine thin hair. So I'm really excited to collab once again with Lily Hair. These are from Lily Hair. I've had their keratin bond hair extensions if you guys want to watch that video. I loved their extensions, the quality of their extensions. I washed them a few times. They were really good quality. So I definitely love their hair extensions and I also love their customer service and the brand in general. They just it speaks volumes when a company is so puts the com customer first and is just so kind. So I absolutely love the company and I was really excited to try their Halo hair extensions. So I got the same color I got from my Keratin Bond extensions, kind of like an ombre blonde. Right now, I am gonna be getting my hair done now that the salons finally opened in New York. So I'm gonna be adding more blonde to my hair. Right now, it's gonna be, this is basically my natural hair color right here. It just grew out. So there's gonna be a big drastic change, but I do definitely plan on lightening my hair for sure, which is why I went with something that was so blonde. And then I also wanna purple shampoo it to make it a bit more uh, less warm. This is actually not so bad, but I do prefer like more of a cool toned blonde for sure. And before I continue, I did wanna mention some hair accessories that they sent as well. Super adorable. I absolutely love this clip right here. I'm excited to style it with the hair extensions or with my own hair. I think it is such a pretty hair clip with the pearls, as well as this really cute scrunchie. It's like a lilac blush color with this gold, plastic gold piece right here. And then it just has this cute, um, kind of like a bow. It's like a bow scrunchie combo. It's actually very adorable. And then this, I think this would be really good to hide the fishing wire. I don't know what it's called. I come and call it fishing wire because that's what it reminds me of. But this is absolutely so cute. I mean, this would be great for like a photo shoot or something. I think it is such an adorable piece. So they do, they do sell these on their website for anybody that is interested. They have tons of other hair accessories. And they also sent me this brush right here, which is perfect for hair extensions because it is such a wide tooth comb. It is gentle. You can brush through any knots. It's so much better for hair extensions than other combs. I'd highly recommend something like this. But anyway, back to the hair extensions. I did kind of like mess around with them a little bit to see what is the best way to wear them. I'm still kind of struggling, not gonna lie. I thought it would be a lot different than what it is. So basically, like I said, you have this fishing wire and you size it to the size of your head. When it comes, it is really long. You could either retie it and then cut off the excess or this one came with this piece right here that I just clamped and tightened so that the fishing wire doesn't move through the loop anymore. Um, honestly, it's like you do whatever works best for you, but you basically want the fishing wire. I'm gonna call it fishing wire because that's what I think it is. You want it a few inches from your hairline to sit a few inches from your hairline. And you also don't want, when it sits on your hair, you don't want it to be hanging off and I'll have all this extra space because that's just not gonna be cute and it's not gonna be secure. You want it to sit where it will be flush against like the crown of your head, kind of like around here. I'm not sure what this part of your head is called, but you don't want it all the way at the bottom. It's like the mid, the middle of the back of your head basically. And then just so it sits comfortably and securely, so it's not like too loose and you don't want it too, too tight either. So once you find the perfect position, whatever works for you, you cut your fishing wire to that length. The one dilemma that I have with this is that as you guys can see right here there are all these different slots where you can take the clip this clip out and make it shorter if you wanted to and the problem with this is i make it shorter and it conceals this string right here which i love but then i kind of have this flap just hanging out so i don't know how to go about that this is what i meant when i said i'm still trying to figure out the best way to wear it um but if i put it on the further furthest setting I am like this this is visible and I don't like that I don't like that I can see that it just you see what I mean so I'm still trying to figure out a way the best way to wear this and I have put it on and I was very happy with the results 
but like I said, I'm still working around it. I will also add that they come with four removable clips, kind of like a Velcro system. I love that. You can take off the fishing wire, the clips, and use it as like a hair extension clip system and secure it to your head, which is great that they even offer that. I absolutely love that. Um, that you can take those clips off and they're not bothering your head if you do choose to wear it with the fishing wire. Enough talking, let me put these clips in and let's just give this a go. So, like I said, I'm gonna have to make it a little bit tighter because when I measured it, it was a bit too, there we go. So, I'm gonna put this a few inches from the my hairline. And then it kind of like sits comfortably like this. I know it looks crazy right now. And because my hair is so dark underneath, um, you're going to want to conceal it. You either like tie it in a braid. I know some people like tie it and hide it underneath. But right now I just wanted to apply it first. So I'm going to go ahead and slowly take my hair out from underneath. You can use like a rat tail comb or whatever. This is the only one that I have. And it's broken. Don't judge me. I should probably invest in a better one, but so if something's like not that important to me, then I just kind of like leave it be. All right, so just literally this is all you do. Like you guys just saw me do, you place it on a few inches from the root, from your hairline, and then you just slowly go ahead and pull out your hair from underneath. And that is literally how easy it is to wear this and you want to make sure i'm actually going to go ahead and cut this extra wire but not too long in case i'm not going to cut it too short in case i want to like change the length i don't have scissors around here so i'm just going to use this okay one thing that you want to make sure you do is brush from the top through like i said i don't really like that you can see this i don't know if all of them are like that but I do wish I could conceal it somehow. I'll try to reach out to the company and ask. They're usually very helpful. They're so, their customer service has been nothing but great in my experience. And one thing that I will say right off the bat is that it is much easier to conceal this wire than I thought. Like I thought you'd, you could still kind of see that I had something going on, but with, with curling my hair, and styling it it's i'm actually very surprised at how well i'm able like how well it is able to kind of like blend in with your hair so this is so this is the hair without me doing and like i'm like looking in this mirror because it's kind of hard to see in the viewfinder so this is the hair without me doing anything to it i will say it's very comfortable in my head i can't really feel it it doesn't match my hair perfectly right now because like i said i do want to add a bunch of highlights to my hair when i go to my appointment so i didn't want something too dark and then i'm kind of like screwed so the color match will blend so much better but even like this i can definitely make it work so it's kind of like an ombre situation but my main reason for wanting to review these extensions is would it work for my hair type? Like for, for anybody that has thin, fine hair, would you be able to conceal such a thick weft? Because the concept of, of this is that you just have one thick weft to add the all this length and fullness. And a problem that I run into with things like that is that my hair is too thin to be able to conceal that weft. Like the wind blows and you're like, oh, there's your extensions. So far, I will say, it's actually very easy to conceal. The more hair you pick up and take out to lay on top, the easier it is to conceal. The less hair that you take out, obviously the more visible it's going to be. So I'm gonna go ahead and curl my hair with my Hot Tools. I think it was like an inch and a half barrel. I'm not sure, but I've had this for like forever. I think I got it from Sally Beauty. So I'm gonna go ahead and curl my hair so that it, um, I just love extensions curled. I don't really like my hair with long, straight hair. Okay, that wasn't so bad. I know it looks crazy now. But as soon as I brush it out, I'm very hopeful for these end results. I do want to purple shampoo them, like I said, because I do feel like this is a 
bit too warm for my liking but I am actually like really impressed wow like look at this look at all that volume that's just sitting on my head this is really nice so much so much better than I thought it would look I was actually really worried even like with my hair underneath right here it just blends in so nicely with the color I definitely want to purple shampoo them and you can't even really see the wire look at this you guys hold on let me brush out the back I do want to still color my hair so it'll definitely be uh, blend in so much better but otherwise this is where the entire extension piece is and you can't even see it. Like I have really fine thin hair, like I said, let me sit back in my chair. I have a really fine thin hair. So for me to be able to pull off extensions with this much volume is amazing. Like this is so, these are my honest, like first impression thoughts. Other than the fact that these are a bit a little bit too warm like the blonde color but that's not even an issue because I could totally purple shampoo it but otherwise you can't even see I was so worried that you would be able like this would be an issue right here but it's not and they're so comfortable like yeah I could feel them above my ears a little bit but I'm really impressed with these these are so pretty I'm sorry I have like a mirror right here so I'm just looking at looking at it i would also probably add some texture spray and if you wanted extra security you could use those removable clips to like clip it to the back of your head right here so that it just really doesn't go anywhere or you could just wear without the wire altogether and um just secure it but the the thing with that is the clips do add more uh they're thicker so they'll add thickness to the weft right here which is why i'm so glad that these extensions have the option to remove them if you're like me and you have a fine thin hair but otherwise these are really nice you guys they also have this right here that you could put over that hair piece um over that wire this would be so cute for like a photo or something and hide it I think this would be really pretty especially with this top that i got from shein recently it kind of matches actually perfectly these are actually pretty affordable because i know they sell halo hair extensions that could be upwards to like from 500 to a thousand dollars these are i think they were around a hundred dollar mark like around there and look at all this volume like this is a lot of volume for me and for me to be able to pull this off with clip-ins would never work because my hair is too thin you would for sure see the wefts like the clips just hands down you would definitely see them so this is why i'm never really able to pull off hair extensions this thick so i'm really excited this is this is great i will also add that with these you don't have to clip them to your head so that's like amazing i just had like a revelation you don't have to clip these to your head they don't like clips the longer i wear them throughout the day they actually get itchy and uncomfortable these will not because they there are no clips it's just this wire right here i might add a clip in the back just so it like holds secure and i know like for a fact that it's not going anywhere but otherwise no clips like no itchiness it's not uncomfortable mega volume you guys you have to try these if you're looking for great ex hair extensions but again this is my personal experience with them and not everybody's going to have the same opinion but my final thoughts plus plus a plus 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 two thumbs up i really love them i love lily hair in general i think they're a great company they have some of the best people that work there and for me personally that is a very important because i know there are many companies that sell halo hair extensions but to know that lily hair is a great company and my experience has been nothing but great with them so i will link them down below for you guys check them out these are amazing thank you guys so much for watching leave your thoughts down below and i'll see you guys in future videos